we had gotten the notes, I believe on Wednesday evening, um, that people had started buying ivermectin at some of the veterinary places that routinely sell them. Um, so I had asked the public health inspector to reach out to Baja and the veterinarian section to see where we could actually um, try to stem this to see where the, the situation was because they controlled importation of products for veterinary use. Um, that we saw prompted a release on Saturday, I believe, from Reimer's Feed Meal. Um, and we put a note of, uh, on it on social media. Um, two things that are there, and I don't know that people understood what we wrote. The, the, the gist of what we were starting to say is that ivermectin for animal use is not the same thing as for human use. So I think that's the first and the major clarification we were putting on our social media posts because we are aware that people started buying the veterinary products and using it um, for themselves. We are aware of people injecting it as a prophylaxis medication. And um, we had said a couple of weeks ago, we reviewed the data last week that it's not been proven in vivo to, to show substantial benefit. In vitro is a separate matter, uh, which means in a lab kind of setting. Um, that's what we had. Uh, we posted that note and now people are trying to post um, things that come out of uh, websites that, uh, but we have not found any solid scientific evidence or studies that indicate that it um, provides substantial benefit. Of course, there's much things like with hydroxychloroquine. Um, but ivermectin, like um, hydroxychloroquine, if it's not properly used or used as prescribed, can have complications, of course. 